and exclusive. A neighbor utilizes racial slurs after running into the yard with a vehicle of the people he's using racial slurs against. It's amazing. Here's a video. Don't move my car. No. Don't. Yeah, she's recording. Oh, you're getting this. I don't care. Get You're gonna get a disorderly conduct. Give me the ticket. Go no. back in the house then. If you can't be quiet. Yeah, exactly. Knock it off. Knock it off. I'm not talking to you. Knock it off. I ain't even f***ing with you. Hey, you can just go. I can issue my citation for disorderly conduct, okay? Would you, would you want that? Yeah? Okay. You want to send that to me if you can? I'll uh, put it with the, with the ticket. Cop should have arrested him. Let me give you the background to this story. Put up the picture of the couple who lives at the home, okay? A black woman in South Milwaukee, Wisconsin, had her property damaged, had to endure racial slurs after the neighbor damaged her property. He was basically saying they're just in words, as if that means. He can just destroy their property, but he chooses. Rhonda Ronsman, a professional public speaker and executive administrative coordinator, told us that she'd been having regular issues with her neighbor. His name is Mr. Joseph Wise. The situation peaked when a car on his property drove through her fence. And he screamed racial slurs at her. You're looking at the damage. Look at that. It goes to her property, damages her property, and he screams racial slurs at her. There's more. The police arrived, they gave Mr. Wise a disorderly conduct violation for his language arrested him and issued a resisting citation for resisting the arrest. Good for them. Mrs. Rosman was granted a four year restraining order against Mr. Wise. Good for the judge. And since then, she claims he has still harassed the family, okay? Now I'm about to show you a video provided to Indisputable Multiple times in front of her home, he does this. Here it is. So what is that about? Mrs. Rosman told Indisputable, quote, last year, a man by the name of Joseph Wise moved in with his family. He began driving on our property and causing damage to our landscape and our backyard. We decided to build a fence. He was threatening to other neighbors to knock down the N words fence. I should also mention he had a Confederate flag as a license plate. And he has one tattooed on his body. On July 30th, 2022, he followed through on his threat and drove a vehicle vehicle into our fence and crashed into our home. I obtained a four year restraining order against him in October of last year. But he continues to terrorize both me and my husband. So we reached out uh, to Mr. Joseph Wise for comment, reached out to him, uh, who told us. Uh, it was an accident. It was unintentional, he said, uh, and that he was 
uh, seeking or had obtained a restraining order against Mrs. Rosman. Well, we said, listen, if you provide us proof of that, we were provided to the viewers. He never provided proof after we reached out again multiple times. So let me tell you something, Mr. Wise, I think you're a liar. I think you're a liar, I believe you're racist. I think you're a piece of scum, okay? I think you should leave these people alone. I think you're gonna end up in prison, sir, if you continue this tactic. Now, you may have been taught by your parents that this is proper action in order to get rid of someone in the community, make them move away from you. Um, sir, it's 2023, ain't nobody going anywhere but you. All right, wise and thoughts. Yeah, my heart goes out to this family, of course. Um, I'm, I'm proud of them for standing their ground. I think in past times, they probably would have been compelled to move, you know, um, and, and leave their neighborhood, their home that, that they wanted to be in because of this level of harassment. I just would hope that they sue the pants off of this fool. Um, and he's reprimanded in such a way that he he thinks better at doing this kind of thing going forward. But this is scary, scary stuff, man. I know I could easily see this kind of thing escalating into actual violence, you know, um, and which nobody wants to see. But yeah, I would I, I hope they take this guy to court and 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 teach him a lesson.